What I really absolutely love this time of year, Drew here, beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. We're doing a couple from this box. It's called Toasty Toes Taster Pack. Mystery beer one, mystery beer two. I guess they're uh, best beer that they brew right there. And then they have two small batches. Get to them eventually one day. Here are the socks, Christmas socks from Lake of Bays. Oh yeah. And I'll just explain it and then we'll get into it. Um, I will, I'm gonna throw out this can after, or this box after. Anyways, here it is. Okay, so it says, help us choose our next release. Take a sip of each mystery beer, visit our website and vote for your favorite. Each vote will be entered into a contest to win a Lake of Bays prize pack. Cool. Uh, there it is. Shop on our line. Mystery Beer 1, Mystery Beer 2. I will do that after I do a review on Mystery Beer number 2. Um, and then I'll vote and then we'll go from there and hey, maybe I'll get something. They're from Baysville, Huntsville, Ontario. This is number 1. This is number 2. Oh, 2. I'll do this one later. Anyways, on the back, Lake of Bays. Uh, da -da, it's their best served 4 to 6 degrees. Malts are Pilsner, Minish, and Red X. Hops are Northern Brewer and Saz. Sexy Saz is in here. 4.5% alcohol. I'm just going to do them both in my Willy Bald glass um, and go from there. Um, I love it. And you cannot be every year winter socks. Damn. Sexy, sexy winter socks. Let's get into Mystery Beer 1. Uh, I'll let you know what this is, and then I'll uh, do Mystery Beer 2 maybe tomorrow or the other day. Uh, my next upload will be, oh, where are we getting into? All right. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's see. Uh, can this be like a fruited? Um, I'm getting a lot of fruity, like a little bit of grapey-ish in here. This is different. And this, they're actually doing this because they they want to know what, uh, when, uh, okay. Each vote will be into a contest. Um, help us choose our next release, which is pretty cool. So their next release, probably sometime in January. Um, problem I have with this one, there's no head the way I poured it. Uh... <laughs> But I don't even see any upside down snowfall, but let's get into it. Cheers. Wow, I don't even know what a, a kosh, maybe? Kosh or whatever you call it. That's what I'm turning into. Uh, on this, it's uh, very flat the way I poured it. Um, it says it was brewed, packaged... Uh, September 13th, October, November, so we're looking at two months, but we're right off the bat, it's drinkable, 4.5, just it's, it's not very good, um, I'm hoping that one's better, if I went to your house and drank, I would drink it. It almost tastes like a hard pour. I'm not in the hard pours. So this one, I'm definitely going to have to give like a th 6 out of 10 on this one. 6 out of 10 for sure. I'm going to check it out on untapped. I don't know if you can or not. But 6 out of 10. Uh, see if this opens it up. No, not really. All right, 6 out of 10. That's my take on mystery beer number one. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back possibly tomorrow. Probably wearing the same thing. Trying out mystery beer two. Be kind of your neighbors. Like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy life. It's Christmas time, baby. Cheers.